Donald Trump's casinos and Sheldon Adelson's casinos. I don't use the slot machines. I didn't buy the pot when I was there. In spite of what, a lot of people will say, if you, if you, if you oppose prohibition, they'll say, oh, you're just a pothead. I don't want it for that reason. I want it because I don't want to have to pay to send people to prison. I don't right. want to have civil asset forfeiture that confiscates people property rights uh, for no reason whatsoever. And I don't want to get SWAT teamed uh, by somebody who's out of control and have uh, members of my family executed. Mm. But it's interesting to see this happening. And of course, there's going to be a ballot initiative in Ohio this November, uh, ballot initiative number three, which would legalize marijuana for medical and uh, personal use. But the interesting thing about this is that it's taking a monopoly position. And so there's a lot of people who are opposing this. It's a very complicated situation. We'll try to explain it to you quickly as well as we understand it. But this ballot that's going to go on in this ballot initiative in November is going to set up monopoly wholesaling and monopoly retailing. That's why a wow. lot of people are concerned about it. They're going to provide for 10 marijuana growth regions, which they've already determined where these are going to be, who's going to own them. They're going to have it limited to the number of retail stores, a ratio of one per every 10,000 Ohioans, and a lot of other controls on that as mm -hmm. well. So a lot of people have come along, like this article from Daily Cause, and they're saying, look, there's two competing proposals. One of them is on the ballot for November. The other one is not going to come on until uh, next year, into 2016. And what they're saying is maybe you shouldn't vote for this one because they're both going to be constitutional amendments. It's going to be very difficult to undo a constitutional amendment. And to make it even more complicated, the Ohio State Legislature has put on their own ballot initiative, number two, which would essentially uh, counter the uh, 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 number three if it passes. So what they would do is they would, they would shut that down. Now, it's going to shut down the establishment of monopolies by voter referendum. So that may not be a bad thing. Why do we right. want to go about establishing monopolies? Right. This is essentially crony capitalism. Mm -hmm. The people who created this initiative are the ones who have the 10 growing sites exactly. and the maybe 1,200 retail sites. Right. So there's something that's very concerning about this. They put up $20 million to get this in. We ought to all be watching this very, very carefully. But the good news is, is that there's a global pushback against this UN agenda, and conservatives need to understand this is a UN agenda. Absolutely, and we definitely will be keeping our eye on that. We knew, you know, why did it take so long for them to pass this? And this is why they had to figure out how they can sort of control, uh, control it. Mm -hmm. So now, David, you'll be with me in the next segment. We're gonna get to the bottom of some of these shocking migrant videos as well. Joe Biggs will be joining me in studio to break down his experience at last night's Trump show. I'm running for president. Everyday Americans need a champion, and I want to be that champion. I'm hitting the road to earn your vote, and I hope you'll join me on this journey. I began to get into iodine a few years ago because it was helping me and my family so much get healthy and detoxify. I believe our research is conclusive. This is the best iodine out there. And I know this for a fact, nobody else has got iodine based on these pure crystals, ladies and gentlemen. For a limited time, experience the ancient power of Survival Shield X2. I believe our research is conclusive. This is the best iodine out there. Take advantage of this at InfoWarsLife.com. Clean, toxic-free body is the foundation of true health. Introducing Deep Cleanse by InfoWarsLife.com, a scientifically formulated blend of nanocolloidal zeolites and organic ingredients that aid the body in cleansing chemicals and toxic metals. Using our proprietary multi-step extraction technology, Deep Cleanse is our most affordable all-in-one cleanser. With concentrated organic compounds like cilantro, milk thistle, fulvic acid, orange peel, zeolites, and others, Deep Cleanse doesn't hold back. Instead of buying five, six, or even seven different 
different cleansing products. We use decades-old scientific research to put together the Rolls-Royce of all-in-one cleansing. Look, there's a reason Deep Cleanse is the only product on the market that uses our proprietary Spigerex herbal processing technique. We use only the highest quality organic herbs backed by serious research, and we still bring it to you at the best price out there. If you wish to find Deep Cleanse and experience the all-in-one cleansing, visit InfoWarsLife.com. That's InfoWarsLife.com or call 888-253-3139. Introducing Secret 12, the new InfoWars Life Vitamin B12 formulation. Most forms of vitamin B12 are highly processed and synthetic and could not be properly absorbed by the body. That's why for real results, so many are having to turn to painful B12 injections, which are known to have higher absorption rates. Now, InfoWarsLife.com is excited to announce that we can bring you our most bioactive, powerful form of B12 that has been developed with our exclusive perfected process. Secret 12 is a binary of nutramedical grade bioavailable coenzyme forms of B12, methylcobalamin, the same kind used in B12 injections, and adenosyl cobalamin. Secret 12 is simply taken by mouth, right on the tongue, and then swallowed. No needles, no injections. Don't take my word for it. Try it for yourself. Discover the secret. Secret 12. Secure your revolutionary Secret 12 formula right now at InfoWarsLife.com or call 888-253-3139. Introducing the first proprietary oxygen-based intestinal cleanser, Oxy Powder, backed by real FDA-approved phase one, two, and three clinical trials. People are suffering from all kinds of digestive issues these days. All the toxins from the air, the food, the water, ultimately ends up in the gut or affects the gut. My main focus was to come up with a remedy for this, something that's safe and effective that anyone can take on a regular basis to keep their intestinal lining clean. My recommendation is to clean your intestines at least two to three times a week to prevent the toxic buildup from going into your bloodstream. Take your health into your own hands and start cleansing your body today with Oxy Powder. Secure your Oxy Powder today at InfoWarsLife.com. That's InfoWarsLife.com. <laughs> Now, in recent weeks, we've been witnessing some shocking videos coming out of Europe with this migrant crisis, and it really seems that they're being exploited on both sides. Not only are they being exploited by the governments who are using them to push the welfare state and expand the size and scope of government, but they're also being exploited by the smugglers who are bringing them in. Now we have um, some shocking stories coming out about Facebook pages setting up like their travel agencies, luring these migrant families to their deaths. They're promising them luxury yachts and safe travel across the Mediterranean. And of course, we have seen uh, time and time again, these boats capsize over. They promise them these beautiful yachts are gonna escort their families. Uh, they don't tell them that there's gonna be hundreds of people packed like sardines on these boats. And of course, these traffickers are just brazenly advertising their services on Facebook. They haven't been pulled, they haven't been taken down. Um, as well, we were also reporting about an explosive document uh, that was released by top social welfare organizations in Germany uh, that are basically exposing the fact that migrants at refugee camps are uh, raping women and children they're also allegedly forcing women into prostitution. So there's no safeguards for anyone here. They're just being thrown into um, FEMA camps, essentially, yeah. or, or prisons and actual Nazi prison camps in some circumstances. So obviously, David, this is incredibly horrendous. What did they think was going to happen? What good could come out of flooding countries uh, with foreigners with absolutely no plan for assimilation, or for yes. what they were going to do with them. I mean, well, it's a horrific uh, humanitarian situation, of course, and we all are sympathetic to what's going on there. The question is, what can we do to to help this? How can we stop the cause of, of this? And of course, the cause of this goes back to American foreign policy, to the mm -hmm. actions that we've taken. This is something that's been going on. It's been announced for a very long time. Wesley Clark told us there was a list of countries that they were going to go through. Syria was part of that. Uh, we were fighting here at InfoWars the false flags, the sarin gas attacks, trying to justify 
going in and invading Syria. We've seen John McCain meeting with the now leaders of ISIS. We called him out on that as meeting with terrorists. Now that has been proven. But there's another aspect of this, Leanne, and that, of course, is that we're seeing crisis after crisis throughout the West, uh, in America as well now as in Europe. Right. This immigration crisis that's going on there, the open borders that are happening here, these are crises where we're going to have uh, the integrity the, of the, of the uh, various co uh, countries is going to be an issue. It's going to be a divide and conquer. They're not, as you pointed out, not being assimilated. There's not the ability to assimilate that many people. But also we see with the immigration coming into the United States, people are coming in, multiple languages. We're seeing uh, school districts uh, school districts that are having to, to have dozens of different languages taught in their school districts. It would be something that would cost many of us our homes because we can't afford the property taxes if we were just to educate the people coming in in English. But we right. have to provide customized education for this. We're not able to do that. But there's another aspect of this, and I think if we look at this aspect of it, we understand that this is a crisis, a manufactured crisis, and a solution that they're offering on the back end of this. Order out of chaos. For, yes, exactly. For a very long time, and we've always pointed this out with the Bilderberg meeting and these other globalist organizations, they've been working on consolidating into regional groups, uh, Europe, America, North America, Asia. Now they're going to consolidate these with the trade partnerships. One of the ways that we can see this, of course, is now the calls for a European army. Mm. We saw the economic crisis with Greece, the banking crisis there. Many were saying we're going to have to give up sovereignty in order to solve this. Alan Greenspan was saying that. The head of the largest bond holders was saying that. But earlier this year, we haven't really covered this this much in, uh, at InfoWars, but now this has accelerated. The, call, uh, the calls for the European army have accelerated. It's coming from Germany, just like we see Germany running this banking crisis in Greece and Portugal and Italy, Ireland, Spain, that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. They are now pushing for a European army. Going back to March, the Wall Street Journal pointed out, and this is the defense minister of uh, Germany. Her name is... Uh, Ursula von der Leyen, she said, I'm convinced that a European army or a European defense union can be created as a logical consequence of European integration. She said, Europe will only stay politically relevant in the future if we're able to complement our economic power and our political influence with a truly coherent security and defense policy. And so you have to ask yourself, if they're going to have a European army, who will finance that army? It's going to be financed with a European tax regime. We're talking about a consolidation into the United States of Europe. They have an army. If they have a tax regime, they've already got a parliament. They will need more power for that parliament. So what we're seeing here is a rapid consolidation. And who is in control? It's Germany. Wow. And I think it's very interesting to go back and look at the origins of Bilderberg. It was Bilderberg 60 years ago where... They were talking, we see the, the notes of the very first meeting, they're talking about a European Union, and they put forward the idea of a euro, which was unique uh, creation of the, the first ones to talk about it was at Bilderberg. We'll look at where this is today. We see just this week, Angela Merkel orders Cameron to support plans for an EU army in exchange for EU negotiation talks. That's the headline from the Express out of the UK. And they say the Prime Minister is to be told that Germany would support his bid to renegotiate the terms of Britain's EU membership if he accepts moves to create a European military force. In other words, a, there's a quid pro quo. Right. Okay, We're, you're, they know that the, uh, uh, the UK is not comfortable. There's a massive movement by Nigel Farage and others. Uh, they are also gaining strength as they see the borders, the national borders being collapsed, mm -hmm. erased, uh, these... Uh, different groups that want to see, uh, want to oppose the loss of sovereignty throughout Europe are now gaining in political strength. And so as a result, David Cameron wants to pull back from the European Union a bit. They never got into the euro, but they want to even pull back a little bit farther to placate uh, the, the rise of popularity in UKIP. And so to do that, Angela Merkel is now the power broker, obviously, in uh, Europe. She's saying, well, we'll only consider that if you support a European army. This is not something that is popular in Britain. There was a poll that was taken back in June, and they say they took 4,000 people. They took a poll of 4,000 people in Germany, France, and the UK. They said, well, overall, 28%. However, it didn't really break down that way. 
in France and Germany, it was 37 and 36 percent supported a European army. But in the UK, it was only 19 percent. It's not very popular in in uh, the UK because they have fought two wars against a Germany that wanted to control all of Europe. And wow. so now it's being done gradually by stealth. This is a program that was put in, as we said, 60 years ago. And if you look at the very first Bilderberg meeting, 